Perimeter, Area, and Volume, A Monster Book of Dimensions by David A. Adler, illustrated by Edward Miller. Have you ever been to a 3D movie? 3D movies look real. If there's a monster walking on the screen, it might seem as if he is walking toward you. As the monster on the screen gets bigger and bigger, it seems as if he's coming closer and closer. Such movies are called 3D because they seem to have three dimensions. They seem to have length, width, and depth. The three dimensions are sometimes called by different names. We might say something is tall, high, or long, wide or broad, deep or thick. Whatever words we use, all things we can hold or walk around have three dimensions. Here are the monster stars of the movie Monsters in the Neighborhood. They're posing for a picture. Are they all the same size? Some might be the same height, but not the same size. Height is just one dimension. Each monster has three dimensions. Each monster is tall or short. Each monster is wide or narrow. Each monster is fat or thin. To know how big something really is, you need to know all three dimensions. But sometimes you need to know just one dimension. In the movie Monsters in the Neighborhood, the monsters are bothered by nosy neighbors who run across their yards and look in their windows. The monsters decide to put up fences. Before they can buy the fences, they need to know how long each side must be. They need to know the total length of the fence around each yard. Length is just one dimension. Take a look at these two yards. One is bigger than the other. How much fencing would the monsters need for each yard? To find out, add up the length of all the sides. When you add up the sides of each yard, you are finding its perimeter, the distance around. The distance around a circle is its circumference. To find the circumference of a circle, you first measure its radius, the length of a straight line drawn from any point on the edge of the circle to its center. Then you double its radius and multiply that by pi, which is about 3.14. Inches, feet, miles, centimeters, meters, and kilometers each measure just one dimension. Look at the posters outside the movie theater. Each has a drawing of a monster. Do the monsters in the posters look real? It's difficult to make a drawing look completely real because real things have three dimensions and a picture has two dimensions. Pictures have just length and width. Pictures and the surfaces of flat objects have two dimensions. With paper and crayons, draw a picture of a monster. Does it look real? How big is the movie screen? If the side of each square is one foot long by one foot wide, the area of the square is one square foot. Count the squares. You are finding the area of the screen. Look again at the screen. It's a rectangle. It has four straight sides. Its opposite sides are the same size and all four angles are right angles. To find the area of a rectangle, you multiply its length by its width. The length of the movie screen is 12 feet. Its width is 16 feet. Its area is 12 feet by 16 feet. Its area is 192 square feet. Area measures surface. It's a two-dimensional measure. Get a ruler or tape measure. Measure the area of this page. It's 10 inches long and 8.25 inches wide. To find the area of this page, multiply the length by the width. Square inches, square feet, square miles, square centimeters, square meters, and square kilometers each measure area. This book has three dimensions. The very top of this page to the bottom is the book's length. The left side of this page to its right side is the book's width. When you close this book, and look at the pile of pages all bound together, you are looking at the book's third dimension, its depth or thickness. At the movies, you can buy a large box of popcorn or a jumbo box. 
Which box is bigger? That's easy. The jumbo box is bigger. What makes one box bigger than the other? One box is bigger than the other because it's higher, wider, or thicker. When any one of the three dimensions increases, the size of the box increases. Of course, when both boxes are filled, the jumbo popcorn box has more popcorn in it than the large box. We call the amount a box holds, or the space anything with three dimensions takes up, its volume. The larger the box, the greater its volume. The jumbo box is eight inches high, six inches wide, and four inches deep. To find its volume, multiply eight by six by four. The volume of the jumbo box is 192 cubic inches. The large box is six inches high, four inches wide, and three inches deep. To find its volume, multiply 6 by 4 by 3. The volume of the large box is 72 cubic inches. You can compare the volume of many boxes by measuring the three dimensions of each and then multiplying. A cube has three dimensions, height, width, and depth. So we measure volume in cubic measures. A cubic inch is a cube that is one inch high, one inch wide, and one inch deep. A cubic centimeter is a cube that is one centimeter high, one centimeter wide, and one centimeter deep. Cubic inches, cubic feet, cubic centimeters, and cubic meters each measure volume. Tonight is the opening night of Monsters in the Neighborhood. The monster stars and their families have come to the premiere. It's time for pictures. The photographer tells the monsters and their families to line up. He wants short monsters in front and tall monsters in back. In lining up the monsters, the photographer is only interested in one dimension. He's only interested in the height of the monsters. It's starting to rain. The photographer puts away his camera. The monsters rush to get inside, but the door is not made for monsters. Some of them are too tall to get through. Some are too wide to get through. The door frame has two dimensions. It has height and width. Now it's time to go home, but it's still raining. There are lots of raincoats in lots of sizes. The biggest monster will need the biggest raincoat. The size of each monster is determined by how tall or short, how wide or narrow, and how fat or thin the monster is. Perimeter and circumference are the distances around one-dimensional shapes. Area is the space inside a two-dimensional object. Volume is the space a three-dimensional object contains. Monsters and everything you hold, pick up, or walk around have three dimensions. <laughs>